Hey guys, welcome back to another one. So today what we're going to be doing is actually getting the raccoon wood stretchers ready to go. So I do have some wire ones, but those you can't size up like the wood ones you can. So what we'll actually be doing is marking lines on them for the different sizes. So the sizes that I kind of go off of is uh, for auctions sizes most of them are pretty similar if not the same for all of them so starting off they go from 22 inches up to 35 plus inches for raccoons so what we'll be doing is we'll be marking off and then writing those down also on each of these so we know that we need to get that coon if we can get it stretch out fully so say it's sitting on 27, which is large, you're able to actually stretch it probably a little bit further, probably a couple centimeters over that line, because as it dries, it's going to go back up a little bit. So then you're still at that large rating for when you actually sell. So what we'll actually be doing here is we'll mark off at 22, as that's where the first one starts. And then we have 24 for the next. So we'll do that for a large medium. And then 27 is for a large. And then we'll go to 29, which is an extra large. And then 32, which is the 2x. And then 35 is for 3x. And then anything above that is a 4x cone. And if you get if you get something that big, that's really good. You can't really complain about that. So what we'll go ahead and do, because I lost most of my tape measures by now. No matter how many I have, seem to lose them. So We'll draw a line across so we have a nice even line to work with. So we'll do that here. Perfect. And we'll keep it going. Perfect. And got the final perfect so as you can see the board's all done you can see that it has each of the lines filled out so now we'll actually just mark it first one's ms next one's lm next one is lg and then xl and then 2x 3x and then anything above that is 4x so you know exactly your sizes basically if you get something this small that's probably probably a little too small right in this range for our area is probably the sweet spot probably an extra large and up is kind of what we typically try to harvest for us so preferably you can do it on both sides which i most likely will do for all these boards as you'll see um so We'll go ahead, I'll get the time lapse running and we'll crank through these. 